Good evening fellow vapors, this is Cass and today I'm back at you with another juice review. Now today we're going to be doing a full range review, we're not going to be splitting it into two parts. So today we are going to be looking at the baked range from UK Labs. Now it should be up on your screen here, we have got five flavors. Uh, ranging from things like lemon drizzle to apple and rhubarb crumble, uh, blueberry pavlova. So we're going to be looking at all of those today and we are going to be having a vape and seeing what we think about them and sort of just talking about them in general. Once again, another range from UK Labs. Um, they've done ice, they've done gummies, they've done energy, they've done exotic. They're just about to bring a fairly new range out um well of course it's fairly new it's brand new it's coming out soon which i will be taking a look at but today we're going to be looking at the baked range so let's get down to it the first one we're going to be looking at is going to be the blueberry pavlova a light melt in your mouth meringue base with a rich blueberry center i've not really had that many blueberry vapes recently if i'm honest other than things like heisenberg or uh, like you get like blue raspberry menthols it's nice to have just a blueberry vape so this is the blueberry pavlova Today's setup is slightly different from usual. We're still using the Vulcan Mech as per, but today I've got the 528 Customs Goon on top. I've dug this bad boy out from the uh, archives, and um, I'm going to be having a little vape with it today. So this is the Blueberry Pavlova from UK Labs in their baked range. That's actually really, really lovely. Um, this is a little more subtle than we're used to from UK Labs. The blueberry you're getting is sort of this sweet, fruity blueberry. Now, blueberries themselves don't have a lot of flavour, so you do have to sort of make them a little bit synthetic to get that sort of blueberry flavour out of them. But this is nice, it's sweet and it's fruity. The exhale, you get a hint of that meringue, but it really is just a hint. I think this could be, I think this could do with being a little creamier. I think this could do with having a little bit more of that meringue sweetness and bite but it's a very smooth vape, it's very fruity, it's quite sweet. Wouldn't be sure necessarily whether I could all day this vape, it is very sweet for that fact. And as you know, I've mentioned in God knows how many videos before, if they're too sweet, for me personally, I can't all day vape them. This is however quite a light flavor, considering it's meant to be sort of creamy meringue. But I'm not getting huge amounts of that meringue, so it's not too heavy, and the blueberry is lovely and fruity and blueberry-ish. It's not too subtle. A lot of the times when you have blueberry vapes like blueberry yogurts or blueberry donuts, the blueberry tends to be really far too subtle and overtaken by the other element in it. And this isn't the case. It's actually the other way around. If anything, I'd like a tiny little bit more meringue. But where it's at now isn't terrible. It just could do with being... It's more like just a straight up blueberry rather than getting that pavlova in there. If you've eaten any kind of pavlova, you'll know what I mean when you vape this. But it's a lovely vape. Really enjoying that one. Nice and fruity. So let's move straight on to the next one. And basically, I'm trying to get through these a touch quicker than I normally would because I'm doing all of them in one video. I don't want it to end up being like a 35 minute video. So I'm going to give you all the interesting points, all the important points, and we can get through and have all of these vapes all in one video for your ease of viewing pleasure. So the next one we're gonna be looking at is the Baked Pear Tart. Now the Baked Pear Tart is a delightful treat straight from France. Juicy pear baked in a fresh tart casing. Pears are a weird one. I think, I don't, I can't really think of any that have done it really, really well. I think there was a vape called a Kino that was a pear. And right at the beginning of my channel, I did a pear from Cosmic Fog. So this is the Baked Pear Tart from UK Labs. It's got this real bite of pear to it straight away. On the inhale, you get that sort of, uh, sort of that baked, crispy pear flavor, which has got that sort of almost like an apple, but not. I mean, I know that's what a pear is, but you got that juicy, sweet pear and you get the bite that you would get with an apple vape. But obviously it's the pear flavor, which sounds stupid now I'm saying it. You'll see what I mean when you vape it. The exhale is all that lovely pastry, that sort of crisp golden pastry. And it's really quite smooth, it's quite buttery. And you're getting a much softer pear taste on the exhale than you do on the inhale. It leaves quite a nice aftertaste in the mouth. Now, I'll be honest with you, this vapes a lot better than it smells. It smells kind of... It smells a bit like old e-liquid just to smell it, but as soon as you start vaping it, that's when it really comes through, which is what's important after all. Actually, it's a really lovely fruit sort of alternative because a lot of the time you get these strawberry tarts, you get blueberry tarts, you get all sorts of things, but not often do you see a pear one. Now, this isn't super sweet. It's not super heavy. And actually, I think if you're a lover of pear vapes, this could make for a good all-day vape 
for that reason, it just works well. That buttery pastry is absolutely stunning in this. I think the pear is a bit of a polarizing flavor. I think this is going to be one that you either absolutely love or you absolutely hate. I don't think there's any middle ground for it. Now, I like, I actually really like this, even though it's not something that I would have necessarily chosen to vape i think this is the underdog of the range and i think you'll see what i mean when you see the rest of the flavors coming up but this is still a solid flavor in its own right it works well as a fruity pastry kind of vape and if you want something that isn't just an apple or a strawberry or a banana or orange or any of the other thousands of fruits that have been done again and again and again then this is the one to choose simply because pears you don't really see them that often and if you do they're generally layered under a thousand other different flavors so a baked pear tart is definitely one to try and it really does taste like a baked pear tart if you don't like baked fruit maybe not for you but this one is spot on it's really really accurate and that, that goes for pretty much everything uk labs have done except for that super weird blue raspberry gummy everything they've ever done has been really really on point and accurate so let's move swiftly on to the next one now the next one if you remember i did a video called is this the best e-liquid i've ever tasted and it was own bakes apple and rhubarb crumble well uk labs have decided to come out with their own version of an apple and rhubarb crumble let's see how it matches up to the own baked version the apple and rhubarb crumble is a classic british apples combined with distinctive rhubarb finished by a buttery crumble crust pretty much exactly what own baked rhubarb crumble is but let's see if it's any different Ooh. So, firstly, unbelievable. It's not exactly the same as the own baked one. Let me start. So on the inhale, you get all of that lovely, fruity, sweet apple. You get that sort of bitey uh, rhubarb. And then on the exhale, all you get is this wonderful crumbly crust. And it really is spot on. That crumble flavor is really buttery. It's almost warm like a crumble would be. This one, the rhubarb is a little more subtle and the apple takes a little bit more precedence, but right at the end of the vape, you get this big kick of rhubarb that just makes it exactly what you want it to be. This is absolutely on par with the own bakes version of apple and rhubarb crumble. And I think because it's not overly sweet, it's not overly heavy, like the own baked, this could absolutely be an all day vape because it's all of the things you want an all-day vape to be. It's creamy, it's light, it's fruity, it's sweet, but not too sweet. All of those flavors, they don't just end up as a weird mishmash of the. These, you, you can taste them, it's like a taste journey, you know? Inhale, apple and rhubarb. Exhale, you get that sweet, buttery crumble, and then right at the end, you get the kick of rhubarb, and that's what makes this a spot-on vape. It's super, super accurate. The crumble is an absolute winning point of, these, of this e-liquid. And for that, I think so far that is my favorite. There's nothing bad to say about this, actually. It's an apple and rhubarb crumble. And I think Ownbaked have got to watch out if UK labs keep producing dessert vapes like this, because this one, I don't necessarily know I prefer it, but I know it is different. And kudos, because that was a very, very good flavor by Ownbaked. So to come out with one that is equal, if not a little bit better, simply because it's very slightly different. And I think you'd go for this one if you're not such a rhubarb fan. If you want more of that apple, if you want more of that crumble, this would be the one to go for. Right, let's move swiftly on to the next one. And the next one we're going to be looking at is the lemon drizzle. Ownbaked's lemon drizzle, a soft sponge cake drenched in lemon, a true slice of Britain. Do you like me a little bit of lemon drizzle cake? Okay, so as we know, there are thousands of lemon tarts, lemon meringues, lemon cakes, lemon pies, lemon everything. And it'd be interesting to see whether this one can stand out from the crowd or whether it's just going to be another lemon vape. So here we go. This is the lemon drizzle cake by UK Labs. This one's actually quite different to a lot of the ones I've tried. This one is predominantly cake. It is cake with a hint of lemon. Now, a lot of the times you just get lemon and then you might get a subtle cream or a subtle cake or a pastry flavor underneath or a biscuit flavor. This one is predominantly cake. And right at the end of the exhale, that's when you get that sharp citrusy lemon come through. This is a little bit of a heavier flavor compared to the others, but that is because you're getting this sort of dry, cakey flavor coming through, which is definitely uh, a contrast to a lot of the other vapes that are out there. But because because you've got that sweet, fruity, moist lemon flavor coming out afterwards, that's what gives you that hit. And you're like, mmm, 
Ooh, I get that lemon now. And the aftertaste is very lemony as well. The cake is very much on the inhale, it's very much on the exhale, but all of that is underpinned by this lemon flavor, which is lovely. It's not too sharp. It doesn't taste like a lemon sherbet. It's not too subtle. It's not like it's not there. They've got the balance just about right on this. If anything, maybe a creamy addition to this would work quite well. Cream or a custardy flavor just to go over. Because, you know, when you eat lemon drizzle cake, you sometimes put cream or custard on it as with most desserts. So I think that could be quite a nice addition to this. But if you like your cakey flavors, this is spot on. It tastes like a cake with that hint of lemon as a lemon drizzle cake would be. And I think that's why it works well. It's quite a simple flavor um, compared to a lot of the others. Obviously you've got the apple and rhubarb crumble. There's quite a lot of elements in there. The blueberry pavlova is quite a simple flavor as well as is the baked pear tart. But I think this is works because it's just a cake. It's a lemon drizzle cake. It's something that people go to again and again because they know that lemon, they know what a lemon dessert flavor tastes like. Now I don't really like lemon flavors that much outside of the dessert stuff. So I won't buy a lemon sherbet, I won't buy a lemon candy, I won't buy lemon and lime flavored stuff. As a general rule, it's just not my thing. But this is quite a pleasant flavor. And because it's quite light, because it's quite fruity, I would go for this probably as an all dayer on a tank. Now I did have a tank of this in a Cleto tank and it worked really well. You didn't get any of that, lose. you didn't lose any of that flavor, but it was slightly too much to all day it in a tank. I think this would work better on a dripper simply because it wouldn't become too bland that way. I think in a tank, you might tend to lose your flavor a little bit as is the way with a lot of stock coil tanks. So this is quite pleasant for that reason. Right, let's move on to the last one in the baked range. It's been a really, really solid range so far. So the very final one is raspberry and coconut sponge. So the raspberry and coconut sponge is the nostalgia of a Victoria sponge blended with a contemporary coconut twist. Let's see if the sponge in this is as good as it was in the lemon drizzle cake. Okay, so this is the raspberry and coconut sponge from UK Labs Baked. This one's a little different. Firstly, the inhale, the major flavor you get off this is that raspberry. It's sweet, it's sharp, it's fruity, it works nicely with the rest of the flavors in there, but it's a lovely raspberry. It's not too tart, and I hate raspberry flavors that are tart or harsh or just over the top. This one's nice and subtle. On the exhale, that's when that sponge comes in, but it's to a far lesser degree than the lemon drizzle cake was. This is definitely much more raspberry. You do get this sort of bounty coconut come through on top of that sponge. Sponge, and the sponge is actually the last thing you taste in it. Inhale is all the raspberry, exhale is all that coconut and spongy goodness. This one isn't too heavy, I'm not finding it too sweet, I'm not finding it overly creamy per se, but that's not really a creamy vape. This works well. You know the sort of cakes I mean, it's like those it's like those raspberry coconut cakes that you get in like Starbucks or Costa or even more like a raspberry macaroon or uh, if you can find them, they're like come as like little brownie shaped things in the supermarket. That's what this tastes like. You're getting that wonderful sponge. You're getting a hint of coconut and you've got all of this sort of drenched in that fruity, fruity raspberry and it works beautifully well. The, the thing about baked flavors and dessert flavors is that they have to be either very light or not too sweet for them to be an all day. Now that's not to say that's for everyone, that's for me personally, and I know that to be the case for quite a few people. If the flavor is too heavy, then it can't be all day because it just becomes too much. But if it's too light, you can't all day it because you just lose the flavor. And it's finding that balance that is quite tricky. Now, I think out of this range, I think the blueberry pavlova could be an all day vape, but I think you're gonna start to lose its flavor a little bit. The apple and rhubarb crumble, 100%, could vape that all day long. It's not gonna lose its flavor. It's not gonna become too much. I think the balance on that is absolutely spot on. The lemon drizzle cake, I, I think is fantastic. I will try and all day it and see how I get on with it. But you know, it's a cake flavor. They're quite hard to all day. And I think something like the raspberry and coconut cake is definitely something that you would have of an evening. You'd vape loads and loads of it in the evening and then you probably put it away and go to something else either the next day or for your all day vape. As we know, it's the lighter, fruitier, fresher flavors that tend to work better as your all day. And this this range is solid, man. Like this is a solid, solid range that is gonna work well for pretty much anyone that likes their fruity flavors, likes their creamy flavors and there are a lot of them out there that have two or you know, one or two absolutely spanking flavors that are fantastic. And the rest of the range is kind of just like an afterthought. And I think these guys have put a decent amount of thought into every single one of these flavors. So every single one of them 
plays a part within the range itself. There's no, there doesn't seem to be a filler flavor here just to make up the range. You know, they all have their own, their own aspects, their own strong points, their own weak points. And because of that, it creates a unit of solid flavor. Really, really impressed with these so far. So as far as I'm aware, price wise, you can buy these for about 13 quid on the UK Labs website. I will drop a link to that in the description. And I think that about wraps up the, the, the review for this baked range. You know, I, <sighs> It's wonderful. It's definitely one that's worth checking out. The apple and rhubarb crumble is the star of this range, probably closely followed by the lemon drizzle or the blueberry pavlova. And I think that's about it. If you enjoyed this video, I thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And if you do subscribe, hit the notification bell and that's going to let you know when I upload because I'm uploading more and more regularly these days as and when time allows it, of course. And I've got lots of interesting ranges on the way. So if you enjoyed this video, thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.